guys, welcome back. Today I am doing my July favorites and fails. So if you've never watched one of my favorites and fails before, I do things a little bit differently. I don't just talk about things that are new in my collection. I talk about things that I have had for a while and have been enjoying or things that maybe I had for a while and now maybe dislike for one reason or another. So yeah, that's that's what today's video is. If you're new here, hi, my name is Annie. I am a 40-something lover of color who believes that you can have fun with color at any age. If that sounds fun, if that sounds interesting, if you'd like to see a little more color in your timeline, if you love color as much as I do, I'd love it if you would stick around and uh, subscribe down below. We are going to go ahead and get started. I do need to say, of course, I have purchased all of this stuff with my own money. Some of it did come in BoxyCharm, so of course I got it at a reduced price, but otherwise I did spend my money on all of these things. This month it is mostly new stuff. That's just, in fact, I think it's all new stuff this month, uh, just because I may have gone a little, a little overboard this month. Just, just a smidge. So uh, let's get started with something that I totally dogged when it came in my BoxyCharm. I was very skeptical and couldn't see why I needed this item because I already have several of these other, several other similar items laying around my house. That is the Chella little uh, tweezers here. They're shaped like this. They are you know, easy to hold, which I really like. They're very ergonomic, very easy to hold, much easier than, you know, the standard, these kind to hold. So I really like these. I think these are really nice. These pluck my eyebrows really, really well. So I'm in California and where I am in California, we are shut down. We cannot go to the salon. We cannot get our eyebrows done. We cannot get any of that stuff done. So if I don't pluck these puppies, um, they are going to run away with my face. So I do have to pluck them to maintain them so that I don't look like a Sasquatch. That's just me. They are also great for another thing. And this is one of those things that they never tell you about when you get older. But I'm here to tell you about it now so that you can be prepared so you will be not, so you will not be shocked like I was. As you age, my friends, you start to grow hair in places that you shouldn't really be growing hair. And by that I mean you start to grow whiskers, guys. Whiskers. I found a straight up whisker on my chin the other day. Straight up, thick, scratchy, beard whisker. I almost had a heart attack. I could not find it for the life of me with these other tweezers. These ones grabbed hold of it and yanked that thing out as fast as I could, as fast as I could. It was a horrifying experience. And if I grow a mole to go along with that whisker, I swear to God, I am going to scream. And uh, it, it's not gonna be pretty, you guys. It's not gonna be pretty. Just like that whisker was not pretty. So thank you, BoxyCharm, for sending me these delightful Chella tweezers that are great for plucking not just eyebrow hairs, but chin whiskers. Super fun. Moving on. Also, uh, a boxy charm item that I have been enjoying that I, again, dogged a bit. And that is the Lavish Quick Color Switch. We all know what a color switch is. This one looks like this. It's small, it's round. Now, I was annoyed to get this because I have been using this which is just like the foam from the boxy charms themselves. I just cut it up and put it in this little thing. This is just a little tin that I had lying around my house. And I just take this out and change it um, and replace it whenever. But they sent me this and I really do like it. It's so much smaller that I can just have it here in front of me on my desk when I'm doing my makeup. And just, if I wanna use the same brush again, I can just switch the color. So I really do like this and I'm super happy to have it in my collection and I'm super happy that I didn't have to pay full price for it. So thanks for that again, BoxyCharm. I appreciate that. Let's move into some skin care type items. The first one was really inexpensive that I purchased and I purchased not only this, but the mask that goes with it, but that is the Trader Joe's Watermelon Facial Mist. I am really loving this. First of all, it smells like watermelon and I love the smell of watermelon. And it's been kind of warm lately, so it's nice to have something to like just spray on my face um, when I'm not wearing makeup or even when I am make wearing makeup. 
I like to use this in conjunction with another product we'll get to in just a moment because it adds a little bit of extra hydration. Now I have a very oily skin, like really oily skin, but I do like to make sure that I hydrate well. At nighttime, I use a lot of hydration. I use thicker creams, I use oils, all of those things so that when I wake up in the morning, most of that hydration is absorbed and I have noticed when I, since I started doing that, I actually produce less oil. I still have very, very oily skin, but I do produce less oil and my makeup lasts longer. It does not break down like it used to. So I do like to hydrate in the morning. I don't use those thick, thick creams. I use a lighter cream in the morning, but I do like to spray my face and get a little bit of extra moisture as well. So yeah, I really like this. I think it smells good. It's delicious. It was really inexpensive at Trader Joe's. Um, I don't know. I can't remember exactly how much. I want to say it was something like $5 or something and it smells so good. Like it just smells like watermelon and I love it. Beautiful. So I'm really happy to have this in my collection as well. The next thing I got in BoxyCharm and I've really been liking this. This is the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. Again, it has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. I use this every morning and every evening. So in the morning after I tone my face, I actually don't wash my face in the morning unless I have a really thick mask on um, that says to wash, to rinse it off, and then I will just rinse, but I don't actually wash with soap that can strip your skin if you use it to soap too much or cleanser too much. And so I don't like to strip my skin. Um, but I've been using this after I tone in the morning and after I wash my face at night and tone at night, I put this on. And I feel like I have noticed an improvement in some of my dark spots, which vitamin C is great for. The other thing that's great about vitamin C is it is good for helping to actually boost your sun protection. So of course I never leave my house without sunscreen on my face. I just don't do it. Typically I use this Coats um, Face Prime and Protect Tinted uh, Primer, but I also use um, just, right now I have this. I didn't purchase these, my husband, I wish these were cruelty free, but my husband picked these up when we were gonna go camping because I had purchased them before I went cru cruelty free, but this is the Biore UV Watery es Essence SPF. 50. I typically put this on as well, but this is vitamin C anyways, long story short, helps boost your, um, the effectiveness of your sunscreen. And so I love this. Of course, when you use vitamin C, you have to use sunscreen or you will burn more, but I love this. I think it's great. It's really lightweight on my skin and it is a little bit Sticky, but I honestly don't mind that in the morning because it helps everything else to kind of stick to my face. So I really like this and I'm super happy that I got this in my BoxyCharm. The next thing we will go with is a primer. I have been wanting to try this primer for a very long time. In fact, it was on my list of five brands to try in 2020 and I have purchased it. It is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This stuff is amazing. I see why people love this so much. It's so good. It really does grab hold of your foundation and make it make it stay put. So I'm really happy to have this in my collection and I'm really glad I bought it. It is expensive. I did go ahead and purchase the full size instead of the little trial size, just because more bang for your buck, I figure it's a popular product. People really, really do enjoy this, especially people with oily skin. So it was worth it for me to purchase the full price item. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that I bought it because I have found that it is working really well with all of the foundations that I've used with, used it with. And yeah, I'm really happy about it. Next thing up, something I purchased with my Ulta Points in my Ulta Points haul. That is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I love this foundation, you guys. It is so good, even on my oily skin. I'm wearing it now. I feel like my skin actually still looks like skin. I like to use a very light layer. I don't want it to be heavy. I want it to look fresh. I want it to look natural, and it's so pretty. So this is when I use this watermelon spray as well. So after applying this, I actually go in and apply a little bit more of my watermelon spray, just to add a bit more moisture, because hyaluronic acid can be true tricky. If you don't have enough moisture in your environment, if you don't have enough like moisture already not like sitting on your skin, hyaluronic acid likes to draw moisture to itself. So if it doesn't have moisture in its environment, it will pull it 
from your skin. And then your skin does not look plump and fresh and dewy like hyaluronic acid is supposed to make your skin because it's sucking the moisture out of your skin. So I put this on and then after I put it on, I go in and I spray this. And uh, so far I haven't had any issues with this. I really do feel like my skin looks young and beautiful and I really, really like it. I think my skin looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey or anything. Now it is not the lo most long wearing foundation on my oily skin. Nothing really is, but this one I can get a good, you know, six to eight hours of wear out of, especially if I touch it up. So would I choose this foundation on those days where I am at work and have things after work where I am, you know, 13, 15 hour days? Absolutely not. But for the weekends, for just, you know, having makeup on for a few hours, I think this is really, really pretty. However, when I go back to work, I won't be wearing foundation at all, so I'm enjoying it now while I can, while I have no place to go, and I just can walk around my house looking beautiful. So yeah, I really like this. Mine is in the shade Light 55N. Super happy I purchased this, and it's inexpensive, so yay drugstore foundations. Another BoxyCharm item. I know, I dogged BoxyCharm this month, and I gotta say, I put my, um, what do you call it, one? my premium box is going up today and I tell you that right now that was a complete loser. You probably have already watched that but I got this in my BoxyCharm. This is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I really like this. I love the way coconut smells. I think it's pretty. It um, again adds a bit more moisture into my skin before I go in with then a like oil oil busting spray but I always do like to like I said add a bit of moisture and this is a nice one it smells really pretty the sprayer is a little intense it's not the softest misty sprayer ever it is a little intense but I do like it and I like the way my skin looks with this on next up we have some single shadows so you guys probably saw my um, first impression of these and my swatch video these are the notice shadows this is the nebula collection and I really enjoy these I think these are really beautiful this one is not part of that collection it is a nebula shadow but I've been using it as a highlighter I think it's really nice as a highlighter it's a good topper shade it's let me just show you it looks like this I don't know if that's going to show up very well. And then when you swatch it, it's very like sheer. Makes a beautiful highlighter though. I really do like it. So anyways, back to the other shadows. I love these. I think they're really, really pretty. And I'm super happy that I decided to pick things up from this brand. Her website is up and running now. I think it's notice, is it notice.com? or noticebeauty.com. I can't remember, but I will go ahead and link it down below. So if you want to check out her website, I really, I really do like, I think they're really pretty, really pretty shades. I will say if you have the, um, Galaxy Dust Shifters from Davina. You don't need the entire collection, but these two down here, these two bluey greeny ones, they are unique. They aren't the same as that other, as the, as the, Davina shadows. I can't talk. I'm sorry. They are not the same as the Davina shadows. I'm happy to have both because I love multi-chromes and I love to plop them all over my face. So I'm super happy about them. So yeah, I've really been enjoying these. I think they're beautiful and I'm so happy that I picked these up. They're so pretty. All right. So I have a couple more eyeshadow palettes and then we're into the things that I really, really hated. Um, let's see. The next thing, where is it? Where is it? Got to pull it out. The next thing is my Lethal Cosmetics After Dark palette. I love this palette, you guys. These are my first Lethal shadows. I think these are so much fun. I love them so much. I love the shimmers here. They are a more flaky formula. So if you're not using a glitter primer, you will get fallout. It it will be glitter all over your cheeks. I personally don't mind that. That's just me. Um, I really love these. Like I said, I think these are beautiful shadows. I think the mattes blend beautifully. The shimmers are gorgeous. I'm super happy I picked this up. Really, really happy about it. Next and last eyeshadow palette that I'm going to talk about today, although I did pick up quite a few eyeshadow palettes. Um, I'm sure there's no surprise here. This is the Glam Light Cake Palette. 
I adore this palette. I love everything about it. I think it's so cute. It's so much fun and I'm super, super happy to have it. It is so beautiful and I mean, hi the packaging. I did order the donut palette so that will be shipped out later this month. It was on a pre-order. I can't wait to get it. I'm very excited. So yay, me. Very excited about this palette and the soon to be arriving donut palette. And then let's move into the things that I didn't have a lot of success with. I only have, I think I only have two. I only have two. That's good. I don't like to spend my money on things that I, I'm not going to like. I try to only spend my money on things that, that I'm going to enjoy. So when I buy something that I don't like, I'm not, I'm not happy. Let's have a drink. All right. So I picked up a BH Cosmetics brush set. I actually picked up two BH Cosmetics brush sets, but we're just going to talk about this one and just know that I have the same complaint about the other one I picked up, which are these ones. These are, what are these? I can't remember. These. These are the ones from the Take Me Back to Brazil collection, I think. I didn't love these either, so I think this is just a BH Cosmetic brush, brush issue for me. I picked up these ones because they were bright and fun. Um, I, I, I don't remember what this is called, you guys, I'm sorry. But I picked these, these ones up. They're bright, they're summery, they're fun. I was like, oh, these are so cute, I love them, and I could use some new brushes. And I hear people rave about BH Cosmetics. I don't understand. I don't, under, I don't understand. Maybe it's my eye shape. Maybe it's the size of my eyes. I will say, I mean, this brush, clearly I've been using, it's okay. I use it for bronzer and it's okay. The shape is great for bronzer, but um, it's not the best brush I have in my collection. That's for sure. It's not something that given the choice I would purchase again. Same with this. I was trying this out for bronzer. It's fine, but it's not fantastic. The only brush that I really actually like in this collection is the number five and I use this for contour. I love this for contour for both here and for my nose and everything. I, I use cream contour with this to just draw it on and then I can be very precise when I use this um, and then blend it out. So this is really the only brush out of the two collections that I purchased that I like and use. So this was a dud for me. And like I said, I know people love BH Cosmetics, but these blending brushes are massive. This is the number six. This is huge. What do you use this for? It's like the size of my eye. And then this is the number 10. Again, it is massive. I mean, can you see how big this is in comparison to my eye? It is so big and I can't do anything precise with it at all. And I just, I'm sad. What a waste of my money. Very sad. Last thing. This is a BoxyCharm item. And if you watched my first impression of this palette, you will not be surprised. It, or maybe I didn't even put that up. I don't remember. I think, oh, I filmed it, but I don't, I didn't put it up. So yeah, you will be surprised. This is the Pure Festival 2.0 palette. So I was really bummed. First of all, look at the back of this. These look like very dark shadows. They look um, like they have a lot of like depth to them, right? And then you open up the palette and look how bright it is. Let's go ahead and I did this on my unboxing, but I'm gonna show you again here. Let me turn this upside down so you can see them in the same order. They look nothing alike. They don't look similar at all. Like at all. Very, very, mm. And I did not have great luck when I used this palette. Like I said, I did film a look with this, but I never posted it because I just didn't. I hated it and so I didn't want to post it because I hated it. I know. I did post it on my Instagram and, and say how much I hated it. I am not the biggest fan of pure shadows. I've never had good luck with them. Um, I just don't like them. I don't think that they blend well. They are patchy on me. The shimmers are bleh. They're lack, very, very lackluster. 
not just not enjoyable for me I didn't like it and that is why I didn't pick up the Raw Beauty Christie collab because I love Raw Beauty Christie like adore her I think she's so amazing she's so talented and she's so sweet and she's just so like unproblematic she's just amazing and I really really love her and I really wanted to support her but I couldn't spend my money on pure shadows I just couldn't do it so um yeah that's the last thing I have other than my honorable mentions because they're brand new so I can't like speak to them yet and that's my nail polish I love this I picked up this collection here oh, from um, MBA Cosmetics and I've only had a chance to use this one so far I will say this one in particular which is why I have it in here as my honorable mention it did go on really nicely two coats I got full coverage and uh, it looks really pretty I like it and it dried fairly quickly and I'm super happy and so I'm hopeful that the rest of them are going to be just as good and hopefully they will last a little while nail polish never lasts long on me just the way things go so yeah I like this polish honorable mention I can't like recommend to pick it up yet I will have to try some more colors and then I will get back to you guys on what I think about these but I do like them they're fun they're they're bright and I'm yeah look see it's the same color this is better <laughs> so I'm going to be done because this video is getting longer than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below. If you did not like today's video, feel free to leave a dislike. It will not hurt my feelings. And if you really liked today's video, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be amazing. Next to subscribe is that bell. If you ring that bell, you'll be notified of all my uploads. And of course, I am on Instagram. You can find me there at seemybliss underscore beauty. I would love it if you stopped by. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have any of these items? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What things have you been loving in your collection this month, whether they're new or whether they're old favorites? I'd love to hear about it. Drop those comments down below and uh, wear your mask, wash your hands, be kind to your friends, be kind to your neighbors, your family, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! When I blame you